Today's show is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Stop putting your online data at risk. Go to expressvpn.com slash inside. Howdy there, folks. You're probably thinking to yourself right now, where's my gaming news? Well, the folks over at Inside Gaming felt entitled to a small break for the holidays. So, what we have for you instead today is a little show that aired on something called Rooster Teeth Television. And that show is Big Mother Crab Truckers. Now, if you're not familiar with Big Mother Crab Truckers, it's a one-page RPG about crabs like myself who drive truck. So please, sit back and enjoy Big Mother Crab Truckers. Today, we are playing Big Mother Crab Truckers. This game, it's basically an extremely simple version of like D&D or a tabletop role-playing game. The whole rule set is only one sheet long. If you can believe it. Oh, and it's about gigantic crabs that drive rigs across the country hauling freight. The, their leader, their benevolent ruler, is the beautiful crab goddess. All hail oh. her majesty, <laughs> Lirene, her. the goddess. We love crab goddess. Her beauty is unparalleled. <laughs> Ain't nothing like her. Really quickly, if we could just do a round of introductions. Hold on, I gotta get my... Ugh, my name is Big <laughs> Bertha. I'm the biggest <laughs> bitch you've ever seen. I fuck Yoked, I'll snap your b in a half a second. I don't know where the crab mouth is or how crabs breathe, but somehow this b finds a way to smoke like a chimney. I'm a big dumb. B so she's the lifter of the group. That's a class in this game is lifter because you know you're constantly taking things in and out of trucks. <laughs> there she is. There I am. Baby. One of my skills is just stupid. B yeah, <laughs> I go by the name of Streets Hennessy. I'm the I'm a chaplain, but I'm also not afraid to get into a scrap, and I'm also a firearms expert. I worked as a stockbroker for 15 years before one day I said hail, and I stood up, I left my desk, and I killed my boss. <laughs> I couldn't be tried in the court of crabs because they respected me too damn much. And I pray to the goddess that I can keep driving on these roots. <laughs> and Cheers on them. Finally, our special Cheers. guest star today, Jacob. That's Which me. I am Fontanus Crustworth III. I descend from a long and slightly inbred dynasty of undersea drivers. For I am a driver, you see. And as a fiddler crab, I've got my big claw here. I'm quite a fine fellow, but beware of my astounding asymmetry. I've trucked for so long that my big ass left claw has been fused to the wheel while my ragged right one fiddles and diddles. I am agile, for I have eight legs, only one of which needs to f floor this thing. <laughs> I am a purely an offensive driver. Molting time has almost come, and I must shed my shell, but who knows when it may happen. There he is. Oh, there he is. No Joe, krill, no, no thrill. thrill. Big birth in the streets, Hennessy. You're kind of hanging out in a trucker bar right now. You're between jobs. You're both sort of uh, guns for hire in the trucker world. Now, Jacob, you just pulled into town. Oh, yeah, yeah. You have a very special cargo that you're hauling. It's for the crab goddess herself. 20 head of long, beautiful longhorn steer that you're hauling in a big double trailer. They need to get to the top of the mountain by barnacle day. Tonight, under the moonlight, where the critters roam to cut through a shot of spotlight. You better hold tight to me. This is home. I need thrills, I need spills. You can keep your money in the dollar bill. Pedal to the floor tonight. Let's So if I arrived at the truck stop? You have. Okay. So I, I roll up to the door and I say, I need two companions to see how how many head of steer was it? You got 20 head 20 of 20 head, head of, of steer horns. to the top of the mountain by Barnacle Day for the crab goddess. Did you say crab goddess? 
I'm the biggest, meanest <laughs> in this bar, and I can haul long heat, long head, steer, whatever the f you just said, like no one else. Excellent. Yeah. I stand up. I stand up from the bar, pushing my stool out. I'm wearing a cloth. I'm a cl crab of the cloth, and I say, "Have you use for a lot of legs on that rig?" Indeed, I do, man of the man of the cloth. In a, in a f load of guns. <laughs> we shall deliver. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, come on, come on, let's go. Crab goddess above, may you bless us in our journey to bring these steer what forth they may be towards. Jesus, Mary, and Crab goddess, thank you. <laughs> hey, f me. You guys head down the road. You're not grinding any gears because you are an incredible driver. Roll three D8s <laughs> for me. Add up the two highest. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, 12. 12? You're fine. I've dismantled and am cleaning an entire, every part of a handgun in the back. Of me. <laughs> <laughs> or are we all in one bucket seat in the front? Artemis, thank you for letting us all sit up front here with you. I feel like we are all three hands to one man. Just make sure to wear your seatbelts, for I am not a safe <laughs> no. driver. I am an offensive one. I don't wear seatbelts. I put my life in the hands of the crab goddess. What do they call Who truck stop prostitutes? I forgot. Lot lizards? I've been in this industry for 13 years, mostly as a lot lizard. <laughs> But now well, I'm lifted, and I'm very proud of myself. So you're driving- Please stop ashing on my leg. <laughs> <laughs> it's much easier to miss than it is to hit on account of the thin profile of my leg. Well, maybe if your legs weren't so goddamn long, mm -hmm. I wouldn't <gasps> have to ash on her. You ever think about that? Please, crap goddess, she does not know what she speaks. <laughs> have mercy on her. <laughs> All right, Autumn, Autumn, roll a three D8s for me real quick. <laughs> <laughs> a 10. You blow smoke oh, yeah. in uh, Streets Hennessy's face, but it, it kind of, you do it, and it's offensive, but it sort of dissipates a little bit by the time it reaches him. What do you think about that, you little b <laughs> I'll reassemble my pistol and cock it, <laughs> but, then I, but then holster it. <laughs> You're just threateningly reassembling your gun over and over. Farnabas Crestwood III was asleep at the wheel for about 10 seconds, but nobody knows. <laughs> <laughs> so you hear in the distance the faint wail of uh, what in the trucker a whale? World. No, no, no. <laughs> you hear the wail of, this, of a siren coming. It's gaining ground quick. Listen, comrades. <laughs> We need to get these head of steer to the top of that mountain as quick as possible. Who says we defy the authorities and continue on our path unhindered? You're a goddamn coward. I think we should murder these sons of oh, right that here right now. I agree. We should pull over so I can beat the ever-loving snot and sin out of those damn bears. In the trucker world, a bear <laughs> is a police officer. And Bertha, you can pick up their car. Yeah, but <laughs> I'll show it in the back of the truck. You just don't wait one second. Barnabas, I'm taking the goddamn wheel and I'm pulling us over to the side of the road. My left claw is fused to the wheel, so I can't help but resist. Jacob's able to kind of take her into an elegant crash. You're a little jostled. So the cop that. car, it whips up two kangaroo cops. They're literal kangaroos. Kangaroos? That's right. They pull their guns and they say, get out of the car. Get out, get out of the car. I clamber over Jake, over Fartimus's lap and let myself out with my long legs on furling with a, a, a cloth <laughs> roll under three uh, legs. A moment, if you would, officers. And I lay it out on the ground and I open it up to reveal an Uzi, two pistols, and a crossbow. I'm standing <laughs> menacingly in the background just in case these mother <laughs> think they can take us. I'm in the yeah. driver's seat like, what's going on back there? Yeah, I can't turn around. Leave. The kangaroo cops, they open fire, but they don't really, they're, they're missing you, but you are in a gunfight. Get your gun, you symbols, you mother Meg Bertha runs up. She tries to melee the cop in front. You do have a rage say, skill. <laughs> Actually, I don't think the rage skill counts for that. I think what it is is the stupid <laughs> skill. And I roll what? Like eight plus seven? <laughs> Fifteen. Holy shit. Yeah! <laughs> I guess. <laughs> describe how you murder the shit out of this kangaroo. I crush the b And I put it in his eye. <laughs> and then I take my other cigarette. And then I put that in his pep. The mother. His still living child screams in <laughs> agony as you put out a lit cigarette on him. All right, streets. I ultimately decide to load the Uzi upside down into the crossbow. I pull it back 
and I tape the trigger down and I fire the now shooting Uzi <laughs> at the kangaroo cult. You're not going to kill him, but go ahead and tell me what kind of, you do some damage. So if you want to describe okay. that to me. Okay, due to the centrifugal force of the Uzi Uzicular gun, it has fired towards the general area of the kangaroo and is spinning mm. around wildly, grazing him from all <laughs> angles. And it has taken off all the skin around his neck, but at the same time cauterizing the wound. So he's in extreme ah. but non-lethal pain. Now, let me ask you this, Streets. Do you have all it, of your guns with you? Did you leave any in the truck? I have stashed a gun in every conceivable compartment in the cabin. <laughs> That's good news for Fartimus. You do <laughs> spot a gun that uh, Streets has managed to stash in your own, uh, what are those, the little things that- Visor. You can, Visor, that's it. Fartimus looks in the rear view mirror and sees combat has commenced. <laughs> then he sees, what's this? A weapon? He reaches up with his little spindly hand and it's too heavy. His claw drops oh, and he accidentally no. kicks the truck into reverse. No. So no. it starts reversing, but alas, <laughs> He can handle this better than any weapon. He looks in the rearview mirror, sights his foes, and directs the truck towards this, this lone kangaroo. All right, perfect. So roll 3d8 since you're driving. You got it. It might understand that these are very low. He may hit Bertha and myself. That is correct. <laughs> Run me over, Falcon. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to describe how you, uh, you know, take care of that last police officer who, again, simply tried to pull you over. You have no idea what was going on. As I direct my attention back to the wheel, I look, I look to my left. I see streets mid genuflect past just under the rear view mirror. The truck suddenly lurches over what seems like a kangaroo sized bump in the road. <laughs> One second, I do have a question. One question I want to address from the chat from Brock. They're asking of uh, Fartimus, if you're fused to the wheel, do you, <laughs> do you hang your ass out the window to go to the bathroom or how does that work? Fartimus has been sitting in his own <laughs> for years. <laughs> There you there's go. No, That's the answer. No front driver's seat. It's what? just the <gasps> throat of the <laughs> Let's <laughs> roll, motherfucker. Get out of here. Fartimus, how do you That's feel? The, how do you feel about this whole scene? Goddess, honest, Fartimus street. is asleep. Oh, okay. <laughs> the slamming of the door as they get back in wakes him back up. Huh? We got to roll, motherfucker. Right. I, I stick my I stick my underwater sea mine back in the visor. <laughs> <laughs> as you guys pull out of this. Uh, open freeway where you just murdered two cops. You are afeared what? with the notion <laughs> that uh, some more cops may be on your tail. You could risk it and stay on the main roads, or you could take the back roads. Oh, Fartimus could die any day now. Let's take the shortcut. How old is Fartimus? I would like to know. Fartimus is 872 years young. I got a sister I can hook you up with. <laughs> oh, at last, I hope she likes- She's 18. <laughs> <laughs> She'll be 18 in three years. Ah, I hope she likes sitting in sh She's f huge. Every woman's dream. I should be like with my niece. <laughs> you like f a big fat dumb. F <laughs> I got you. <laughs> Woo! Oh no. Uh, Yeehaw, as they say. So by taking this shortcut, these are uh, these are rough roads. So basically, what happens is you roll over. What you can tell is it's some kind of spike trap. Your truck is intact, but as you drive away from the trap area, you see these like three cars. They're they're beat up. They're kind of rusted, and they're cruising in. They're coming in on you fast. This wasn't. This was an ambush they set up. Companions, we seem to have some ne'er-do-wells as company on the road. Well, it seems to me that when we hit those spikes, we sprung an oil leak. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a cigarette on the ground, see if we can't spark ourselves a little bit of fire. You know what I'm talking about. There we go. All right. Oh, no. I got, I got a 10. You flick your lit cigarette it catches the oil <laughs> one of the cars does light on fire but they're still driving these are protected cars all right one of them reaches out throws a spear basically what happens is the spear hits one of your tires yeah well, that, i was missing a few before this whole thing oh how many uh, Jacob, Jacob, no. four i like, I like <laughs> how you guys are actively sabotaging yourself i noticed when i got into the truck one was a wheel of parmesan i'm getting big angry big birth is getting <laughs> upset here. i'm about to 
try to jump onto one of these other cars. I know that if she doesn't get out of the cab soon, she'll tear us all to pieces. I use my offensive driving techniques to scooch closer to the vagabonds, providing <laughs> an in-reach target for Big Bertha to sink her claws into. You swing the wheel and you get yourself closer to one of these cars. I'm trying to jump out and I got thirsty. So what was your goal here? Jump out of our cab and land on top of their cab and start punching the sh out of their truck. <laughs> uh, you do just that. I am going to roll for these vagabonds yeah. who uh are rattlesnakes. Oh, so, oh yeah. that's so cool. Yeah. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. One of them <laughs> gets on top of the car, kind of steps out with his spear. He throws it. The spear, it lodges itself right in Bertha's shoulder. Oh, it hurts my bad. God! I ain't got no health insurance! <laughs> Unfortunately, that will affect Bertha's ability to lift. No, oh, no. my Lord! The lifting days. Goddamn life! You still got two cars on your trail. Bertha, you, uh... Your car is kind of still jerk. cruising. Bartimus, pull over. Let me see if I can talk some sense into these boys. Bertha's out there and she's f to sh <laughs> So he slams on the brakes and Polar Express Tokyo drifts the entire truck to a grinding halt. Bartimus pees a little bit. Roll two D8s to see if you successfully piss. Oh, uh -oh. no. Not again. <laughs> you, accident you accidentally piss in Streets' mouth. <laughs> Wait. It's not intentional. It's not uh -oh. intentional. You're, you're, you're on opposite sides of the car, but. So the other cars are still driving at this moment, right? Uh, I mean, if you're stopping, they're gonna like circle they, you. And okay, pull they over. stop. Okay, gentlemen, why can't we not talk this out like civilized beasts of the road? One of the snakes. He seems to be the leader. He steps out and he says. <laughs> <laughs> Which uh, you, of course, understand to mean, I, I've heard your message of peace, and I'm interested. I mean, what am I getting out of this? And I point towards the rig and I see, do you see that rig back there behind me? Yeah, of course. Sunlight? You see over there that one of those those wheels on the rig is a big, big thing of cheese? That's all yours if you let us pass. What kind of cheese? <laughs> Parmesan Reggiato. From what province? <laughs> Milan. <laughs> Barnabas leads out the window. Now, hold on a minute. That's an heirloom. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet, I'm working. So I need you to roll 2d8, Jacob. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jacob! Barnabas! Barnabas doesn't know Barnabas. what day it is. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. <laughs> Artemis, I'm, bad, he they they hear you. They just oh, no. they just don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Streets walks over and takes the wheel Can of I, cheese off oh, off no. of the off of the axle and presents it to this. Can this. I get a little lift of the truck from Bertha though? To, <laughs> she can. Try, oh no, I mean no, I do it. Loss, I do it. So, oh Bertha, my. I think you. Sorry to. No, you know what? I'm just. I, I was just wondering how it feels to see somebody doing something where you know in better health you'd easily be able to lift this. <laughs> quite a strain on my little old heart. I had a hard time with this. I'm getting angry, well, So I use my big angry skill. I get more strength to my good arm and I try oh, no. to punch. Truth or no. I try oh, no. to punch the mother truck. <laughs> Who are you punching? Are you punching Jacob? <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, punch Jacob because I got this snake situation pretty tied up. I gotta know who you're attacking. I'm a f dumb. So I'm punching one of the snakes. Right no. the that is a great place to end this <laughs> <laughs> on a cliffhanger Woo. see you all next time goodbye mother if i could get out of this pilot i would <laughs>